Hey, how's it going guys? We have a lot planned today, like building a Japanese themed blacksmith house, a barn of the same theme, and then we also gotta go mining, and on paper that is not a lot, but we have a lot to do, and it's going to take a lot of time, so let's keep the intro quick and get started with all of our plans today. So you guys heard me in the intro, you're going to be building a Japanese style for the next couple of builds and I plan to keep that theme for like the rest of this village and just have a very loose Japanese theme because it does really well in the channel and I also really enjoy using the theme but I'm not going to take too much time. We actually have to get some materials for the blacksmith and then also, I don't know, find some layout because I truly don't know how a Japanese blacksmith would be uh, conveyed so I might need to look up. I don't know, either some pictures or just come up with something in my head. I have no clue, but we'll get it all together and get some kind of layout going because I want to just start building so that we can get to mining and also just getting a farm because my food is such an annoying thing to grab. So let me get some things together and then we can get started on building. Okay, so I got some materials and I've actually tried making a couple of outlines already <laughs> and I've not liked them, so I'm going to redo it and I actually feel like I have a bit of a better idea. And so... The overall premise of like what I wanted to do was make a bunch of or a couple of small buildings and have them be like just one big place. And so the idea was to have like a long building this way, one going in the back there, and then the center area is going to be the blacksmithing like spot. But I think I'm just going to kind of slightly mix that around and have um, the long building face this way. Um, and then we'll have one further back going that way. And then like kind of the area floating over here we're gonna have to do some terraforming i just realized will be the actual blacksmithing area and i just realized it's actually becoming night right as i'm starting this so hold on actually let me go and take a nap really quick the hardest part about building uh any kind of layout at least for me personally is when i'm put on the spot like this to just build one on camera uh without really having a direct plan it it's very scary because I feel like I'll mess up and then I spend a lot of time thinking about like how I can fix it. But I found that the best solution is to kind of just force yourself to place blocks down and eventually you kind of get into a rhythm. You start building ideas in your mind. And for me personally, I feel like as I'm building, stuff starts to kind of click easier when I can kind of visualize it. It's hard for me to kind of plan out something in my head, but once I start seeing it get laid out on the floor, it's a lot easier to start seeing it and move forward from there. And okay, I think this is what I'm gonna work with. So what I think I'm gonna do from here is try to figure out if there's anything I can do to kind of make this place look a little more interesting. I'll kind of want to make some adjustments just to have some like things kind of protruding out and, and stuff like that because it's very um, bland at the moment. So give me one second to kind of do all that and I'll be right back. Okay, so that wasn't actually too hard once I like got to take a second. Um, the only changes I made were, it was not really too many, I added a little bit of like these wooden add-ons sticking out, and then this building right here, I ended up going back on my word about not sticking too far into this little cliffside here, and... Oh my god, okay, yeah, we're, we're staying away from that, um, we're gonna just close it off like that. Uh, okay, so I ended up making this go out a couple more blocks, because I decided I want to have some kind of thing out here. I, it's kind of hard for me to explain it without actually building it. Um, but this is going to be like a two-story building and the second floor is going to be like only from like this block onwards and we'll have like just a roof on the first floor going right here and some kind of protrusion on the second floor. Um, I know that makes like no sense, probably super hard to visualize, I'm really bad at explaining, but you guys will see it. But before we do any sort of building or anything like that, I actually need to go get some dark oak wood because I want to use that for the roof instead of spruce because I plan to use it for the walls. I don't actually know what's going to end up happening there. Regardless, I want to use dark oak for the roof, and we don't have any of that here. We only have access to birch, oak, and spruce. So I'm going to go out and explore, and we're going to grab a few saplings, bring them back, and then we can get started on the building. So give me one second. We're going to go run off somewhere and see if we can find some dark oak trees. I see it. Oh my god. I've been traveling for so long. I 
Don't know how I'm gonna edit this video. I'm pretty sure you're gonna see like an overhead time lapse. That is not the first direction that I picked. I've done this like once already where I traveled out like so much further and I found nothing. Oh, thank God. I was about to give up. I was honestly thinking like maybe I gotta go back and say never mind and start changing the material palette that I'm gonna use. Thank God. Uh, I spent so long. Oh, man. Oh, okay, I'm gonna grab these saplings and then we can go back because oh. God, this was so difficult just to find. Okay, so I got like a ton of materials. I even got some white concrete as well because I felt like I could probably use it. Just a really quick last minute decision. But one last thing before I actually start any sort of time lapse, I actually need food. I had to turn all of my wheat into bread because I ran out of food and we have a cow farm. So I just, I just wanted to do that really quick. Okay, cows, sorry. I am starving. And I come first. This isn't, it isn't you. It's me. It's actually you, kind of. I don't know. All right, I'm not going to kill too many because I don't, <laughs> I want to make sure I still have cows for a proper farm. But 30 should be more than plenty. So I'm going to cook this up for you guys and then we'll just move straight into the time lapse. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll be back when it's done. All right, so it's been quite a while since I've finished off that time lapse, and since then I've done a lot of decorating, as you can see, and I've even added on a little bit to the back house over there. But let me quickly turn on shaders, because I feel like this is definitely the build that looks nice with it. All right, so we got the shaders on now, and I really quickly want to frame this with all these buildings are pretty much empty. I added like some chests in the back there, obviously, but for the most part, they're all entirely empty. I do have an idea for what they're meant to be. Like this one's going to be where I craft everything. Um, that one over there is going to have all our villagers. That's why it's the biggest and most empty. Uh, and then this one is obviously our storage area, but yeah, so you come in here and it's just a hard cutoff right here because I don't know what I'm going to be doing for a pathway to connect it to like the rest of the village in our house, but you essentially come over here and this is like the blacksmith's main working area. I have like the main forge back here as well. And right now this whole building area has like no use, but I want to add a, a little chest here that I can like dump all of the things that I want to smelt into and then have it be smelted and put into some other chest around here. Um, but yeah, we have a forge, a little grinding, uh, what do you call these, grindstone? and just a bunch of like random stuff around here just to give it filler. I really love this place though. This is probably one of the best builds I've done in a little bit. And we have a little lower area down here, which is something that I did off camera, just connects and makes the storage area, area larger. Um, and that's about it. I really love this like part of the area too, because it gives like the nicest view of the valley. And it makes me think that I really need like some sort of river or something just going on down below because it would be amazing to see like the river or a, or like a city village thing and just be able to look down on it. I really love this area though. And that's really about it. I do have one issue though. As I was building this, I used up all that food that I ended up cooking and we are at the point where I have absolutely no more. There is no food in my inventory. There's no food in my chests. I'm out of food and I can easily like kill the cows in our pen, but I don't want to do that because those are our only cows left. And I want to make sure I have enough to keep the farm going. So I need to go out and hunt 
for some more food and then we can go on and continue the rest of the video. It's so bad too, because I could have just built the barn first or something or made a farm to begin with, but I didn't. I decided to make a blacksmith that has currently no use. It will in the future. It'll be the, the blacksmith trading hall and where I smelt all my ores and things, but right now I just I don't have the materials for that and I also don't have food so I'm gonna go on a little hunting spree and then we'll think about either going mining or building the barn honestly probably building the barn and making a farm because I, I this is this is a bad thing for hardcore Ooh, oh my god this is really bad for me and hardcore to not have any food so I'm gonna go look around for some cows and pigs and things and I'll be right back so yeah, I see there's a bunch of sheep here up on the hill and then like in this cave and I need to actually trap them. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I know I have no food, but I need to trap these sheep here because I don't want to kill them. Um, Because I think these are new. So is it raining again? It's been raining so much since starting the blacksmith. Oh, thank you. That sheep made it easy for me. I think these sheep spawned as I was also building the blacksmith. And so I want to make sure I keep them because um, we do need some sheep. I only have cows. Please walk into the hole. I don't have wheat. I don't have, what are you doing? What, okay, you know what? There, no, don't, don't. Okay, okay, I actually have a better idea. I'm back at the, the what do you call it? The blacksmith, obviously. But I remember there's a village, like somewhere across this mountain and maybe across one more, but there's a, a village in the spruce biome. And I think I'm gonna go there instead because I need a bunch of crops for the farm that I'm gonna, that I'm going to be making. And I only have like access to wheat. And actually, I've never talked about this, but as I was doing my uh, time lapse thing, I saw that I think it's like up there. Yeah, you can kind of see the wood. There's a little farm right there. I never noticed this in the first video, but there's a little tiny farm plot right there that just has a bunch of wheat on it. And actually, is that? Hold on, there might be potato. Hold on. Let me go up there. I don't. I don't know why I'm talking about running all the way to another village, especially with no like food. I'm gonna just go here. Why Why am I making this hard for myself? I knew about this too, and I completely ignored it. Oh, there's pota potatoes, carrots, wheat, beets. I don't, I don't even use beets. Oh, this is amazing. You know what? This is perfect then. That just solved all my problems. So I got some food. I'm gonna cook up like half of these potatoes and then the rest can go into crops. And we'll look into making farm plots and then a barn. And then we can go mining because I really do want to go mining like properly. So let's get this all done and then we can do all the cool stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna make some farm plots. Before I do that, I got a bit of wheat, so let's start regrowing the population of our cows here because I completely demolished all that, and so we need to uh, kind of build our way back up. But I'm gonna quickly make some crop plots, just like down there. It's not gonna be anything pretty. It's not gonna be an actual build. I just need something to actually give me some food whenever I'm starving and I have nothing else to eat. So we're gonna just go down here, make a few plots, and then I think we're gonna find a spot for the barn. And from there, I think we'll go mining, but that's all in the future. For right now, I probably need to fly in this area out a, a bit more. Do I? Man, I don't want to, but I know I have to. Okay, one second. Okay, so I flattened out the area and I got a little infinite water source here, which fun fact, there is like, I, I don't know if I'm forgetting something, but water is like so sparse in this valley. I have like a little water source right there, but to get the one that I got, I had to travel all the way back out to where I got all these crops to begin with and like take some from the ice because that's the only area that I could like find water nearby. So um, definitely need to fix that, but I, I'm not gonna do anything pretty like I said I just wanted a flat area just so that I could make it big enough to like actually get all the crops I'm just gonna like lay it down all around here and just like till the entire land I, This is nothing special at all. I am just trying to get food and keep myself alive Okay, so I got the area tilled and I accidentally messed up on my uh, recording and um, I did the planting off camera so this looks really messy and it looks really terrible I attempted to kind of like spread the the crop land like evenly for the three crops that did not work at all so we got this mess instead um but regardless these crops are done being planted I have a bee here maybe he can help me grow my crops but we need to go get a barn done so I'm going to grab materials because that uh blacksmith over there took everything that I have so I'm going to go grab some materials and then we can figure out where we want to put this barn. All right, so I got all the materials I need. I got like, this. it's such a big cut since the last time that I actually like recorded, but I got everything I need. I cleared out a little spot right here. I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing, uh, but I'm not going to do a layout on camera. You're just going to see the entire thing. You're going to see it from beginning to, to end, hopefully. 
uh, in one big time lapse. Uh, I'll probably end up terraforming this before starting the time lapse, just so that I have an idea of like how much like closer I could get over to this side without actually encroaching on anything. But you'll see the end product in just a second. So let's get started with the time lapse, and I hope you enjoy. All right guys, so it's been a little bit now and this build took like quite a while. I don't remember how much the blacksmith, like how long the blacksmith took, but this build took like, I think like 15 in-game days. Um, but yeah, I unfortunately had like a little under half of the uh, time-lapse like corrupted or not saved correctly. So I kind of got to give you guys a little update on what's going on here. Um, if you guys can remember, this wall opening that we have going on right here used to be on this side. And this whole building is meant to be for like horses and donkeys that I store. And I ended up storing the animals on that side, which we'll see in a second. But because of that, I needed to put the wall over here. I want to be able to store horses here and I can just like get ready and ride them out. And then if we go over here, this is where we have our cows and sheep, which these are the only two animals we have right now. It's the only two that I think I need. Unless something comes up where like I feel like I need pigs or chickens or anything, I can do that. Um, or maybe I can build an addition somewhere, like maybe add like a back door here with a coop behind there. Um, but I, for now, I think just cows and sheep are fine, just so that I can get some wool and then the cows for food and leather. And then this big building here is going to be where I put the villagers and things um, for trading purposes. It's very empty and like gross looking right now because I don't have villagers, so there's also no reason to be doing any of that at the moment. But I absolutely love this build. If I can get over here without falling into the pen, I kind of want to show you guys like this view right here. I love this build. This came out so amazing. I like I'm contemplating which I love more the blacksmith or this like barn area and it, it's a it's real tough for me but I love the variation in heights of like the all these buildings. I can't wait to start building some like filler houses all around here and like making this place look like a big city. It, it's gonna be so cool. I'm loving the way it's coming out so far. But with that out of the way, we need to get mining and we don't have a lot of time left in this episode. Thankfully, I'm already done with like the preparation stuff. Maybe I should go grab some wood and like put all this wheat away. But other than that, I think we're good. So I'm going to go put some stuff away and I'll be right back. All right, now that the shaders are turned off and we're out of build presentation mode, I think I have an idea of where a big cave is if I can get up here. Um, just like off in this direction somewhere, there should be a big cave opening. I used to go over this way to like grab dirt and things, but we'll find out in just a second. It should just be over this hill. Going into the mines, the only goal that I had was to get as many diamonds as I could. And along the way, I ended up finding a mine shaft and I got a big jump scare from a stupid cave spider that lunged at me. I thought it was stuck and it ended up like attacking me. Good. Ah! Oh God. Ah. Oh. oh man. But we ended up finding a geode in there, which was cool. I didn't have the space to take any of it back, but I did screenshot the coordinates. Ended up nearly getting poisoned by a witch. No, 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 not, not dealing with a witch. Don't splash me with poison. Oh, that was close. I continued on mining, got some more diamonds, and ended up in this huge expansive part of the cave that looked really cool, but it was like so scary at the same time. And while we were down in this part of the cave, I actually got the closest I've ever gotten in this world so far to dying. I think they were hitting me through the block. And thankfully we ended up coming out all right. It was real close though. And I continued mining diamonds. And towards the end, it was like real scary. I was running away from things. I was like low on food. 
my shield was pretty much broken and I just wanted to get the diamonds and dip. But with that out of the way, let's go back to the surface and check out what we got. Okay, after an incredibly long and intense mining session, I'm finally done and in this chest is everything that we got over the like two, three hour stress that was that entire mining trip. I never want to do that again. And I know eventually I'll have to, but I'm not going down there for as long as I can. I'm going to make these resources count. But this is what we got. It is so little, honestly, in the grand scheme of things. I was so focused on just getting diamonds. I, I didn't even focus on iron or anything. I did at the beginning, and then I kind of just trailed off and just started focusing only on diamonds. But we got 23 from our first ever mining session. And that to me is huge. I'm not going to be doing anything with, with them right now because we're pretty much out of time. But definitely next episode, we are going to make some diamond tools, a bit of diamond armor, and get to enchanting. We did so much this episode from the blacksmith to the, the, the barn. There's still a lot that needs to be done terraforming wise. This entire side needs to be terraformed. There's just a lot of things that need to happen. But for right now, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.